What if I told you an 8% FD can actually give you 9.72% returns per year? You'd probably think there is some trick, but there is not. It is just the magic of compounding. Smart investors calculate their returns and know exactly how much compounding increases their return. In this video, we'll break down how FDs grow your money. Simple versus compound interest, how compounding frequency changes returns, what annualized and average yield mean. By the end, you'll know how to calculate your own returns with the stable money FD calculator and make the best FD decisions. Let's start with the basics. What's the difference between simple interest and compound interest? Suppose you have 1 lakh rupee and you invest it at 8% for 2 years. If your investment earns simple interest, then in a year, you get exactly 8% which is 8,000 rupees. And in the second year, again you get 8,000 rupees. So your total interest after 2 years becomes 16,000 rupees. Now, let's see what happens if your investment is earning compound interest. By the end of the first year, your interest will be 8,000 rupees, which makes your total amount 1,8,000 rupees. Now, the beauty of compounding is that the interest for the second year is now calculated on this 1,8,000 unlike 1 lakh for simple interest. So, for the second year, your interest becomes 8,600 rupees instead of just 8,000 rupees. Imagine this compounding for the third, fourth, fifth or even the tenth year. In the tenth year, while simple interest earns you a total of only rupees 80,000 in returns, compound interest will give you more than 1,15,000 rupees, approximately a 50% increase. Did you also know that FDs give compound interest? And not just that, they compound quarterly, which means every three months, that is 4x the power of yearly compounding. Let's see this in action using the stable money FD calculator. We already saw simple interest gives 16,000 rupees for two years. Using this calculator, let us check out our calculation for yearly compounding. We put the values 1 lakh rupees, 8% for two years and the compounding method is yearly compounding. The result checks out 16,600 rupees. Now to calculate this for FDs, change this to quarterly compounding and the return changes to 17,100 rupees. In summary, FDs allow your interest to also earn interest and that is the magic of compounding. By the way, you can use this calculator for any amount, tenure or interest rate. We have added the link in the description. Using this calculator, you can see how an 8% FD actually gives you 9.7% interest. We calculated this table using the stable money calculator. Here, you can see the returns for a 1 lakh rupee FD on 8% for 1 to 5 year tenures. Now, let's dig deeper. For the first year, the interest earned is 8,200, which means the annual returns you actually get is at a rate of 8.24% per annum. And this is called the annualized yield for any FD and is higher than the interest mentioned on your FD due to the effect of compounding. Now, for a 3-year FD, the returns are 26,800 rupees. Dividing this by 3, which is the tenure, you get 8.94% returns and this is the average yield of this FD for 3 years. And doing the same for 5 years, you get 9.72% per annum. There is another important thing to consider before booking FD. There are also FDs that allow periodic payouts. That is, instead of giving you interest at maturity, they give it at regular intervals, say monthly, quarterly or yearly. And while these FDs are great for people who have a large corpus and want a passive stream of income, these FD do not compound. On the Stable Money app, you can book FDs in Ujjivan and Unity Small Finance Bank for monthly and quarterly payout. And if you don't need this interest as a secondary source of income, you can always let your FD benefit from compounding. So folks, that's all for today. I am Bhave and I hope I simplified FD calculations and made it a little easier for you to pick the best FDs. If you found this video useful, please like, share, subscribe and use the Stable Money FD calculator for yourself. See you in the next one.